हेलो एवरी वन मार्सल एस भंडारे टुडे वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन द रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग द एलिमेंट्स इन टू द स्ट्रीम फॉर द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द स्ट्रीम सो स्ट्रिंग इज नथिंग बट अरे स्पेशली इट इज अ कैरेक्टर अरे एज वी नो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय अरे अरे इज नथिंग बट द ग्रुप ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स हैविंग सेम डेटा टाइप सो whenever we are trying to make the group of the character elements then that group is specially called as an string the common operation performed on the character array or the strings are reading and writing the strings combining strings together copying one string into the another one comparing the string for equality and extraction of the some part of the string now we are going to see one by one so firstly reading the string reading the string means we are giving as an input towards the string when we are making the group of the elements either we are providing the data to make that group or if already group is done then we are taking the data from the string so these are nothing but an two operation that is the input is given or output is taken giving the input means we are reading into the string and writing means we are taking output from the string so for a reading is nothing but the input function and for that we are using the scanf function and for writing we taking the output from the string and hence it is nothing but the, you carried out with the help of an output function that is printf now firstly let's see a reading the string that means we are given some kind of an input so for that we are using the scanf that is an a standard input function as we know for the scanf function we required the format specifier so the format specifier for the string is nothing but percent s as we know that for the integer format specifier is percent d for the float the format specifier is percent f similarly the format specifier for the string it is nothing but an a percent s so here the firstly one array is declared whose name is name data type obviously it should be compulsory remain as an a character because this one is an a character array or the string and a size over here is declared as an a 20 then to give some kind of an input into the string array whose title is name for that we are using the scanf function so according to the same thing first of all we are using the format specifier percent s double quotes complete comma and name now you can observe over here is that the ampersand is not present over here then with the help of an scanf function for example i have given the input as an india grad so with the scanf statement it terminates its input on the first white space it's fine white space means it may be a blank space tab carriage return or form fill etc anyway so whatever the example i have taken over here that is india grad after the india there is an a space so this is nothing but called as an a first white space so when we are using the scanf function the string will consider the characters or the alphabet till the first white space is not found and hence here in this example though i have given the india grad this kind of an alphabets as an a string i will read the uh, compiler will read or scan only the india that is whatever the elements or the data you are given before the white space here it is an a blank space that num that data is only going to be recognized here in the scanf function that i have already seen that here ampersand that is and operator is not required whichever in the previous all kind of an data types that is though it is an integer a float long double whatever it is we will be required the ampersand of 
operator in the scanf function but for this string this ampersand or uh, operator is not at all required before the variable name because the name of an array itself is a pointer we have already know, just seen that what is this ampersand this one is nothing but an address operator which tells you where that kind of an data is stored but this character array we have already know that it is located at some particular memory location in a continuous manner so this kind of an array itself is an a pointer and that's why the ampersand operator is not at all required using scanf the length of the string should not exceed the dimensions of the character array and that is the important that whenever we are uh, declaring the size of the array we should have to be considered this kind of an uh, precautions and according to that we have to reserve the space into the memory now the uh, similarly we can uh, see the writing the data from the string so writing means we are taking something output from the string and for that we are using the output function that is an a printf function again the format specifier we are using over here it is an a percent s with an ordinary syntax of the output function we can be print the string as printf percent s it is a name it displays the entire content of the array as an a name over here let's we are going to just see these both of the functions with the help of an one program so first of all i this is an a very simple program which is taken out the input from the end user about the employee's data that is what is the name city and post of an employee and whatever the data is entered by the end user that is going to be displayed this one is the program so for that first of all i have included the header files within a main then firstly i will be required the array the one array obviously here the three um, parameters are displayed first is name second is city and the third one is post obviously these are not the uh, integer or the float data type these are the character data types and for that i have declared the three character array so first of all character name of 15 so here name is the array whose data type is character and length displayed over here as an a 15 obviously by default these are the strings so its data type is the compulsory should as an array you can declare the three of the array within one line or here i will be just taken out the two different combination firstly individually that we declare terminated with semicolon for the next line again character city and post these are the two arrays are declared now i want the data from the end user that what is the name what is the city and a post of the employee so for that i have given the message with the help of an printf function that enter the employee's data now the input is taken from the end user and for that scanf function is used obviously these are the array so format specifier used as an a percent s there are the three datas and that's why three format specifiers are used double quotes complete comma then here the sequence is that firstly first percent operator is for the name second is city and third is post as i have already told you that the ampersand or address or the and operator is not at all required so these three parameters are going to be separated only with the simple semicolon now whatever the data is entered by the end user that is going to be printed and for that printf function is used name is equal to percent s double quotes complete comma name so whatever the element is stored into the array whose name is name that is going to be replaced at the percent s operator similar for the city and post will be carried out so this is the small program which illustrate how the data is given as an input and how data is taken out output from the string so in short we can remember that for the string the percent s is the format specifier 
for inputting the data we are using the scanner for outputting the data we are using the printer and very important thing that we have to remember over here is that in the input function for the character array or the string the ampersand or and operator is not at all required rest of the all syntax will be remains as an same one thank you mm -hmm.